y'all I'm going to show you how to make caramel, okay? When you make a caramel, you want to put your ingredients in your very, very clean pan in a certain order. You're, wanna, you're going to do your water first, followed by your corn syrup, followed by your sugar. Why do we put corn syrup in our caramel? Because it prevents crystallization. Get it all in your pot on a medium heat and let it come to a simmer. If your heat is too high, too fast, your sugar will not evenly dissolve. Now that this is going on a simmer, I'm gonna let it boil down until it gets a beautiful amber color. Probably 15 minutes, we'll see. And to give you the proportions of this caramel, this is one cup of water, two pounds of sugar, four ounces of corn syrup, and then when I finish it, once it gets its amber color, I'm going to go ahead and add in two cups of heavy cream followed by one stick of butter. After I take it off the heat, I'm going to add in a, a splash of vanilla and then I'm going to salt it to taste. I'll start with like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, give it a taste and add more if I want it. We got a nice simmer going on right now. Y'all never stir your caramel. All right, y'all, we are there. Look at this gorgeous color. I've pulled my caramel off the stove and now I'm going to slowly temper in my heavy cream. Just a little bit at a time. This is gonna bubble up. It will steam burn you. You do not want that. And you also wanna make sure that your heavy cream is at room temperature. If your heavy cream is cold, it will seize up your caramel sauce and you'll be left with a hot mess. And now I just got my stick of butter and I'm just going to continue to whisk it. Our butter's melted. Now we're gonna come in with that splash of vanilla. You don't add the vanilla in when it's on the stove, otherwise the flavor of the vanilla will evaporate and you don't get the full effect. And of course, we gotta come in here with the salt. You gotta give it a taste. Make sure you let this cool down so you don't burn yourself. Mm. That's the bomb. It can use a little bit more salt though. We're gonna add just a little bit more salt. There we go. I need about a half a teaspoon more, more of that salt and now it's it hits, that slaps. Now go ahead and transfer your caramel to another dish. Ooh. And y'all, this is gonna thicken as it cools. Right now I transferred it to this other container and I'm gonna let it completely cool before I put it in the refrigerator, probably for like an hour or two, but just look at this sexiness, my God.